Do you spend hours creating your thumbnails? Are you design challenged? What if you could create any thumbnail using your imagination? I'll demonstrate how you can achieve that today. These are a few of my favorite thumbnails that Thumbnail Genie created. There are some spelling imperfections, sure, but I can show you a quick way to edit the thumbnail once you get one you like. I'm Rain, and I'll be your host today. I'm going to show you how to use the custom GPT called Thumbnail Genie. And as it sounds, it's designed to create YouTube thumbnails. But it can make thumbnails for your other socials with 916 aspect ratios as well. When you open up Thumbnail Genie, you will see two conversation starters. Click the one that says, Start crafting a thumbnail. Thumbnail Genie will then give you instructions on what to input. Use descriptive words while also keeping the total prompt to a minimum. We don't want to confuse the bot. You can upload your logo so Thumbnail Genie can pull the brand colors from it. Unfortunately, it's not able to add your logo onto the thumbnail at the moment. You can also give it the hex code of your brand colors if you don't yet have a logo, and it understands. You can also upload a photo of a color that you export from Canva or any other program, like a swatch, and it can incorporate that color into the thumbnail as well. For some reason, Thumbnail Genie can't even spell thumbnail. I was testing the bot out already and copied the prompt from one of the images it generated. Now I'm tweaking it a bit to try to get closer to what I want. The first two images didn't look like a thumbnail. It just looked like an image of a book. Okay, it's almost there. I just want the page on the right to look more like a coloring page that is black and white without the grays and shadow. I may need to pull this into a design program to erase the grays. Sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Let's generate some more thumbnails. For this thumbnail, I asked for a pop art style when describing the theme and colors. I think this looks really great and would take a long time to create if we were doing it manually. I adjusted the prompt to include Pixar style characters and it executed very well. Mind you, I'm just thinking of these off the top of my head. I didn't put much thought into what I really wanted until it was time to make the thumbnail for this video. Which of these do you like best? Between the two animated cartoon thumbnails? Leave a comment below. I decided to try again. I like this one, but it's not perfect, so I'll show you how I tweaked it to make it more to my liking. In using Canva to edit the thumbnail, most of you, I assume, use either the paid or free version. I use the paid version, so I'm not sure if all these tools are in the free version. After I upload the image and drag it to the canvas, I'm going to open up Magic Eraser. This tool allows you to remove unwanted items from your photos. I want to erase the male character's hands, the keyboard, and the mouse. Then I'm going to add the image of the host and remove her background using Background Remover. I'll click Background Remover again to erase more of the image that I don't want, like the chair around her. The male character had a little more arm sticking out, so I had to erase that and adjust my host image so she isn't covering the words. I know you see the word thumbnail spelled incorrectly, so I'm going to grab a shape, click the color icon, and the dropper to pick up the color that is already on the thumbnail to erase the misspelled word. Then I'm going to type it with the correct spelling and try to find a font that matches as close as possible and change the color of the text to match the rest of the text. Lastly, I change the color to break up the monotony. Correcting the spelling of text may not always be so straightforward if the background isn't a plain color. I want to see if Thumbnail Genie can recreate thumbnails from YouTube. I googled YouTube Thumbnail Downloader and clicked the first one I saw. I pasted the YouTube link and it generated the thumbnail, and I downloaded it. I uploaded the image to Thumbnail Genie. I asked Thumbnail Genie to give me a prompt for the thumbnail I got from YouTube, then asked it to create a thumbnail based on that prompt. Not quite what I expected, and it didn't work how I wanted it to. I would need to add more instructions for that to work. I add more instructions to make the man 3D and realistic a bit closer. Gave some elements, though. It's just the swirls are not quite swirling. But I did get some nice-looking images. I'll just go into Canva and tweak it. 
I uploaded the image to Canva and duplicated it. I removed the background of one of them so I can put text behind his head. Play around with some colors, and it's not a bad thumbnail. This thumbnail is for those of you who want to create something super creative that isn't seen in Canva and looks unique to you. The benefit of using Thumbnail Genie is the amount of time it saves you. The endless creative possibilities removes the idea that you need to have design skills and saves you money for those of you that pay someone to make your thumbnails. Well, I guess that depends on how often you make and pay for that service because you would need to pay $20 for ChatGPT and a one-time fee for Thumbnail Genie. I do encourage you to do what makes sense, but if you're interested, links are in the description. If you like the video, smash the like button so others may see the video. And if you are so inclined, watch my video about AI influencers or creating your own custom GPT for consistent characters. I love you for watching.